Well, good morning, church, and welcome to another day in uh, national lockdown. I pray that this message will find you both healthy and strong and coping well with the lockdown. I want to share a scripture with you this morning that is very much for this time, I think, of, as we are in lockdown, that we can just think on things that are healthy and strong. So the scripture is Philippians 4, reading from verse 4 to verse 8. And it says this, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent and praiseworthy, think about such things. The scripture is so powerful and that we could actually do a message for uh, hours on it. And um, I just want to look, if we look at verse 4 and 5, it says that we need to rejoice in the Lord always. No matter what the situation is, no matter what the circumstance might be, we need to be connected to the Lord and rejoicing in him. The message in in this passage of scripture says that we need to revel in the Lord. How incredible is that? That we can take time out now to just rejoice in the Lord and who he is and what he's done for us already and what he's still going to do. Then in verse um, six, it talks about being anxious for nothing. This is very anxious times. This is this is times where we are, are worried about our loved ones who may not be with us at the moment, that we may have older pe uh, relatives and friends who are vulnerable at this time. But the Lord tells us that we must not be anxious or worry about anything, but in everything, bring our prayers and our petitions and our worries to him. Again, the message says that um, when Jesus displaces our worries from the center of our hearts, then things will come right. And th if we then look at this awesome passage of Scripture, it says that if we then bring our prayers and our petitions and our, our worries to God, what happens? It says there in verse um, 7, and the peace of God that transcends all understanding will guard your mind and your heart. What an, in Christ Jesus, what an awesome thing that the peace of God comes into our lives. Not our peace, not things that we can think about, but the peace of God will come in and it's, it's a peace that we don't understand. But as we meditate and as we uh, think on the things of God, he comes in with his peace and he releases his peace upon us so that we can get through all of these things. And then in, finally in verse 8, it says this, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, there is so much fake news about the coronavirus at the moment, that it is important that we find out what is true, what is good, what is uh, trustworthy, not something that we just pick up from the internet, that we just, one of our friends from somewhere else, even in another country has sent to us, check it out, guys, check it out against the word of God. The word of God says that he is our healer. He is our provider. He will take care of us. And then right at the end, as I finish this little message, it's just think on these things. Think on the positive things of life. Think, so we are, are locked up in our homes at the moment, but this is an immensely powerful time 
as Christians to build into our families, to build into our children. I just pray that each and every one of you will take this time to meditate and to consider the things of God. Thank you very much. And I, I pray that each and every one of you will stay safe and strong in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.